Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. I want to do a video here for you today on these two players. We have uh, Cody Bell Bellinger on the left, and we have Alex Hugo over here, played for Georgia on the right. Uh, both these players very, very elite. And this video is going to be on how an elite baseball and softball swing, there's really no difference at all when it comes to what an elite player does. An elite swing is an elite swing. And if you have a daughter or son, uh, I'm going to show you in this video that I would uh, suggest or recommend for you to work with a coach that uh, works with both swings identically, okay? And I'm going to explain to you this, uh, what I'm referring to in regards to what I'm saying by you watching this video. Now, I do online video analysis. You can reach me at MaximumBassFeed at gmail.com. I will break down your child's swing, your swing, uh, piece by piece from the setup all the way to the full swing. I'll assign drills to you. Uh, I have personally worked with players from youth all the way to the professional level. And as far as softball, I've worked with college teams, college softball teams. I've uh, worked under contract to analyze swings and help players develop at uh, the highest level of softball. So if you need a coach, online video analysis, reach me at MaximumBassSpeed at gmail.com. Now, Again, uh, an elite swing is an elite swing. And again, let's start off with Cody Bell Bellinger on the left. Okay, now there's a lot of similarities, if not I identical things that go on with players, softball and baseball. Now, if you if you're a baseball player on the left, uh, Cody Bellinger, watch what's going on here. And this is what I would recommend for all of you out there. If you want to start off with a really nice setup. You can see how nice and tall uh, Cody Bellinger looks here. He looks very relaxed. You can see that his arms are very relaxed. Just a really nice setup. Now, as he starts to get into his swing, pay attention what's going on right here, okay? As he lifts his front leg, okay, you're going to see now that his body's going to start to transfer, okay? As the body starts to transfer, this is when you should get start to get into a very powerful load. Now, watch and just pay attention to his back elbow, okay? Watch how the back elbow works up, back, and behind him. Now, as he starts to do this process, okay, pay attention to what's going on here with his, with his bat right here, okay? So I'll just draw like a little square right there, and you can see right here, that his hands right now are pretty much directly right over the front of the back foot. Now, again, this is from the back side, so you can kind of see what's going on with the back elbow. Now, watch what's going on. Again, as he starts to stride, he leaves his hands there. He starts to walk away from the hands as his back elbow starts going up, back, and behind him, okay? So right here, he's at toe touch. And you can see it's very obvious that a couple of things have happened here, okay? First of all, again, he's transferring his weight, okay? If you watch my videos, I bring up, you must transfer the weight. Watch how he's transferring his weight, okay? Watch how he leaves his hands there. He leaves his hands there, and he's letting the back elbow work up, back, and behind him as he gets to pretty much 60% of his height. Another thing that's going on right here, pay attention to what's going on right here with his shoulders. At this stage of the swing, it's very obvious that his shoulders are pretty much pointing to the pitcher. And as he starts to transfer his weight, watch what happens. Again, he leaves his hands there. The back elbow works up, back, and behind him. As he gets into his toe touch right here, it's very obvious now that his shoulders now are going in this direction over here. In other words, to the direction of the shortstop, okay? Okay. So this is really important to understand because what happens with a lot of players is, first of all, they don't leave their hands there as they start to transfer their weight. Many players don't even transfer their weight at all. If they do, sometimes they even work backwards, or if they do transfer their weight, it's usually just a couple of inches or so, okay? And I've been working with players for over 20 years, and that's one of the things I'm always trying to work with players is to have them uh, transfer their weight. Now, to show you how much a professional transfers their weight, what I'll do here is I'll just kind of draw a little box right here where the right where by his back of his belt right there. And you can see that little kind of that rectangle box that I wrote uh, drew there. Watch what happens. Watch how much he's transferring his weight. He really gets out there quite a bit of distance right there. Okay. You can see there that he's transferring his weight quite a bit right there. Okay. 
Now, this is really important because by transferring your weight, you're going to allow yourself to get into a real dynamic heel plant and be able to transfer your weight very, very beautifully. Okay. Now, if we go on the right hand side for you softball players out there, now watch what's going on with this swing right here. Another beautiful, beautiful swing, very elite swing here by Alex Hugo. Watch what's going on with her swing. As she starts to get into her swing, again, just like I just mentioned, look how low her back elbow is right now. Okay. She's just very relaxed. She has a, just started off with a beautiful setup. Uh, just like Cody Bellinger and just the, just the beautiful, beautiful mechanics right here by Alex. Now watch again, like I just mentioned to you where the player does, they leave the hands there. Now this is a more difficult angle for you to view the hands, but you're going to be able to definitely see the weight transfer. Okay. Now, as she starts to get into her forward move, she starts to transfer her weight and pay attention to what's going on with the back elbow. Watch how the back elbow works up back and behind her as she starts to transfer her weight into that toe touch. See how beautifully she does that? So again, for you players out there, for you softball players out there, that you think that a baseball swing, is a softball swing is different than a baseball swing, if you're being taught correctly, okay, in my opinion, if you're being taught correctly, you should always try to maximize your load as you're getting into the toe touch. And the best way to do that, whether you're a baseball player or softball player, is letting that back elbow work up, back, and behind you, up, back, and behind you as you get into your toe touch. And again, just like Cody Bellinger, watch what's going on here. This is really important to understand. This is the torque. This is a separation that I, I was bringing up to you. You can look at her shoulders right there, how they're kind of pointing like this as she starts to transfer her weight. As she st starts to transfer her weight, her back elbow works up, back, and behind her, up, back, and behind her. Now, look at look where her shoulders are now. Now, her shoulders are pointing pretty much to the area of the second baseman. This is tremendous torque. Now, if I pause both of them right here, pretty much at toe touch, look at look how both Cody Ballinger on the left and Alex Hugo look on the right. Look at the similarities, okay? Now, the benefits of this, now watch with Cody Ballinger on the left. When you apply this, okay, this by leaving your hands back, okay, and you can see here, we'll go back to, uh, to Alex right here so you can see this and you can kind of, again, this is a little more difficult to see. Now you can see here that her hands are kind of showing up right here. And this is not the best camera angle right here to kind of demonstrate this, but watch what's going on. As she starts to get into her forward move, just like Cody Bellinger, look at how she leaves her hands there. She leaves her hands there. She leaves her hands there. Even as she's getting into her heel plant. Okay, this is so important to understand. You leave the hands there, transfer your weight, let the back elbow work up, back and behind you, up, back and behind you. Now, again, you can see the similarities, just like I just mentioned, that the benefits of applying these kind of mechanics, and this is why as a coach, whether I'm doing online video analysis, whether I'm working with students in person, I'm constantly getting them to have minimal movement going back. I'm having them transfer their weight, letting the back elbow work up and behind them. Is this an easy thing to do? At times it's not. For some players, it's very difficult, but it's very obtainable with the right drills, with the right sequence, which is just allowing your body to work correctly. Now, the benefits, watch Cody Bellinger here. As he starts to get into a swing, watch what happens because everything I just mentioned to you, he starts to apply just this tremendous ability to have early bat speed. Now you can see right here, it's very obvious that his bat speed right here is way back here, okay? Way back here. Now, again, if you're going to be playing at higher levels, at elite levels, pitchers are going to only get faster and faster. If you do not develop that kind of bat speed, again, like here, like Cody Bellinger, watch what's going on with his swing. <clears throat> Look at that bat speed behind him. This is just tremendous tremendous bat speed behind him a lot of players that do not walk away from the hands players that do not apply the pullback they do not have the luxury of having early bat speed like this to hit 
very, very elite pitchers. This is one of the reasons why I teach what I teach, because as you get to higher levels, you must have this ability to be able to do this, okay, to get that early bat speed. Now, if we go here back to Alex on the right, watch what's going on. Again, she applied pretty much identical mechanics as Cody Ballinger. And again, there's going to be different styles, of course, but the elite mechanics are elite mechanics are elite mechanics, okay? Now watch what's going on. As she starts to get into her swing because of the pullback, the resistance, the weight transfer, leaving her hands back. Again, because she leaves her hands back and she's still pulling back as her body's rotating, she's going to be able to have the luxury of having tremendous early bat speed. And it's very obvious, just like you saw with Cody Bellinger, that Alex has her bat speed way back here. Now, if you look up the stats of both these players right here, what they've done in their careers, whether baseball or softball, they've been able to hit some of the most elite players of softball and elite players of major league baseball. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why I teach what I teach, but I wanted to show you that in this video that whether you're a baseball player or softball player, if you have a child that's working with a coach, if they're telling you, in my opinion, if they're telling you that, no, the baseball swing is different than the softball swing, in my opinion, it is not. And I just try to show you in this video why I believe what I believe. And again, if you look at these swings, again, we'll bring back Cody Bellinger. Just in a recap, you can see here he has great weight transfer. He leaves his hands there. The back elbow works up back and behind him, which is going to allow him to have just beautiful, beautiful mechanics right here. And to watch the bat, just how the bat speeds right behind him. Elbow works up right up to the height of the mouth. He's going to be able to explode through the ball. And again, if we back this up again with Alex Hugo, if you look up her stats, if you look at the kind of player she was, one of the most elite players that ever came out of softball, applying ex almost exactly what Cody Bellinger's doing. Again, just letting that those hands stay back, letting the back elbow work up back and behind her. And again, producing just beautiful, beautiful bat speed right behind her. And then she allows the lead elbow to work up to the height of the mouth right there. And she just has just tremendous, tremendous bat speed. Both of these players do. I hope you learned something from this video. Please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate those likes. They help my channel. And also, this, uh, you subscribe to my channel. I believe it'll help you to become a better baseball player, a better softball player. And again, I do online video analysis. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.